When we are, are overwhelmed, uh, you know, chaotic, we have so many things we want to do. How do we reset ourselves? Um, well, first of all, I always uh, want to invite you to tap your own resourcefulness and your own processes that works for you. So um, how would you answer that question? I'm going to ask you all that first. So chat below. How do you reset yourself in the, you know, when you feel like you're in the pit of chaos and all these things are coming at you. You have so many, well, whatever chaos means. It might be like, oh my God, so many emails I haven't responded to, even text messages I haven't responded to. Oh my gosh, I feel all these ideas I haven't written down. And what's your, what's your process there? And I invite you to, to, to chat below. So there are a bunch of great reminders, uh, wonderful ideas below uh, in the comments below. If you don't see the comment below, please remind me to, to put it there. Uh, for those of you watching this later, from your fellow colleagues here. Um, but I'll tell you what I do is uh, my go-to practice whenever I feel chaotic, overwhelmed, which is more often than, than you might expect, actually. Um, you know, in small ways, especially in small ways, I feel overwhelmed. You might say, you know, when in the midst of any day, I probably feel it, I don't know, at least a dozen times in a, in a small way. And whenever I, I become more sensitive to it, I think that's, that's, that's my first thing is like, we all need to become more sensitive to when we start feeling the chaos, because if we don't become sensitive to it and stop it right away, we, it piles up, <laughs> unfortunately. So I think that's, that's tip number one is just understand that there are varying levels of overwhelm and chaos, and we need to sensitize ourselves to it. So I've become real sensitive to my own chaos over time. So whenever I feel it right away, I, I have a practice that takes me 20 seconds to, I call it energy reboot. You can Google energy reboot and you'll find my video on it to reset myself. Now, a lot of you have different ways of doing it. So please follow whatever works for you. And then what I do is I open up a blank document and I write down what the heck is it that I'm feeling overwhelmed about? I just write it down. I just, so, okay, so many emails. Um, you know, I, I, let me go ahead and uh, pretend that I'm doing that right now. In fact, I just, you know, show you real quick what, what I would do. Now, technically what I do is I go to a Google Keep, but I'm not going to open that right now just because there's some private notes there. But same, same idea, open the blank document. I was like, okay, so many emails. Um, Got to respond to uh, John Doe regarding blah, 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 um, uh, prepare for class. Um, like what if I email, you know, overwhelmed about, oh, got to research um, that supplement or whatever, you know, whatever, right? Like, like I just do, sometimes you've heard this idea of a brain dump. Uh, this is a terrible term, but it's just a, uh, it's outsourcing your stress into a neutral environment. It's kind of like grounding yourself by a document, a blank document as a neutral environment, you know, Google Docs or whatever note-taking device doesn't care how much you give it. It can handle it and it doesn't feel stress. So we outsource our stress onto a neutral environment that is completely able to handle all that, which is not our family members, okay? Not, not the person that's right next to and go, oh my God, I'm so stressed. You know, we, we don't want to outsource our pain or our stress to another person. We want to do it to, to a technology tool that doesn't mind. So I write it all down. And then I basically do a quick prioritization to say, no, uh, so, so, what I, yeah, so what I do is after I wrote down a bunch of stuff, then what I do is I, I kind of create a separation. And I go, okay, today, if I could only do three things, if I can only do three things and makes me feel much more calm, what must those two or three things be? So then it might go, okay, I feel like John's been waiting for my response. I really got to respond to John. So I cut and paste, go, I got I to gotta do that. This will make me feel more calm. Okay, and then I, I feel like I gotta prepare for class because otherwise my students won't, won't like it if I don't prepare. So I gotta do that. If I just do those two things, I would feel more calm and the emails, yeah. You know, and I would basically be framed like so many emails, so what? <laughs> you know, so many, so what? You know, just, um, just do 15 minutes of prioritizing there. 
you know, I kind of like calm myself by almost having a little dialogue written out for myself on how I can reframe that overwhelming thing to be less overwhelming. Um, it's like, you know, uh, not gonna, not gonna kill me if I don't research this month, do it in March. You know, it's like little funny things like that, that I kind of reframe, but it's like, okay, good. And once I've done, once I've reframed the things, if I, if I, some of the things I might not need to reframe, and some things are like, okay, whatever, I can ignore that. But if I do need to calm myself, I will do silly things like this. And then once I've done that, then I will put small steps underneath the ones that don't feel calming and empowering to me. So if I say, I got to respond to John, if I feel pressure around that, then I go, well, let me reframe this. I go, hmm, John just needs a brief, brief decision from me about X, Y, Z. That's really, that's really all that's needed here. But just, just write a quick email, 10 minutes tops, to, to say why I'm deciding this way. Okay, that's it. And prepare for class. That could take forever, wouldn't it? That could take a 12 hours to prepare for one hour class. No, just say, carve out one hour for prepping the essentials, right? The essentials they need for this class. That's it. Yeah. And that would make me feel so much calmer. Okay, just the essentials. Like if I, like if I, if I could just give them two exercises to do, what must they be? So I'm constantly using what I call temporary constraints for myself, temporary constraints of like, if I could just do this, what, what must, you know, and that gives me a calmness of saying, well, of course, chaos uh, ha gives us the illusion that we in this limited life can do everything all at once. Like I said, I always like to say, because our soul has a continued remembrance of the fact that in eternity, we can do everything all at once for all, all time. But here in this body, we have to do one thing at a time. We are given third dimensional time to say, that means today I can only do two things and that's fine. And so that's how I deal with that. So I hope this helps. And again, I invite you all to look at the chats below. There's some very helpful uh, comments here from Caroline and Kim and uh, Joanna and others here. So thank you so much. <laughs>